So, hello, partners. <laughs> so, we're going to take you through um, a bit of a real-life scenario, um, talking through what we do. But first of all, let me just set the scene. We're WPP. We're over a thousand different operating companies. But think of it more like um, Battlestar Galactica. A number of ragtag fleets all coming together with Sir Martin Sorrell as our Colonel Adama. What we have here is that we're the largest communications company, but what that means is that we are very much on the front line in front of what our customers do. We're very much trying to understand at a global level how do we make them work more effectively. So you just heard from a lot of people talking about Adobe I.O., and the pitch up there is quite important. So what we're doing there is we're taking events that happen across the platform. And the events that we're looking at at the moment are ones particularly around the assets. And we're looking at asset creation here. We're looking at the way in which assets are created, updated, and deleted. And now that may seem like a very simple and boring thing, but the amount of challenges that that faces when we talk day to day on a global basis around centralized operations and in market, it causes a lot of headaches. So I'm going to talk about two business cases. We're going to actually go forward and take the dive. And the dive is two, two use cases, two big business problems. The first one is end-to-end -end asset production. I'm in Singapore, and I'm, I want to find out what videos have been created in the US. Or I'm in the US, I want to find out what's going on in India. At the moment, it's very difficult. And what tends to happen is that a lot of the assets are actually created and reproduced and duplicated, and there's a lot of effort around that. So the end-to-end -end asset production, there is no visibility. The second problem is the integrated business process. So if we want approvals, how do we get the event to say that this thing has been created by this agent in this region, and we want to make sure that the sign-off works? We want to make that programmatic, we want to make that automatic, and we want to make it reliable and predictable. This is what we believe that the Adobe I.O., in terms of the eventing, can do for us. So we took the plunge. And what we did is we created a WPP Adobe I.O. event service. And it does three things. The first thing, as soon as an event, an asset is created, we capture that asset. We capture that asset and understand what it's supposed to do. We then enrich it with the metadata to tell us about the, the, the asset, to add some more information to the asset. Was it by this person? Does it need an expiry date? Does it need to be changed? Whatever. The third thing we do is then we publish it. And we publish that information so that it can be consumed downstream in whatever way is necessary. And this is what it looks like to the rest of the people. We have Adobe I.O., Experience Manager. You're creating, updating, and deleting assets on a global level. That then goes into Adobe I.O. that is listening to all of that. It took us about a weekend to put together this WPP event service and router. That took that information. And then what we did is then we then published it out to a number of different plugins, an RSS feed. So think about it. You're a brand manager, and then all of a sudden, you can actually see your assets being created, deleted, and removed. And then you can pretty that up in every different way and then, and then change it so that, oh, I only want to look at assets that are videos, that are in this market, that are for this particular audience type. And then you've got that available there. Or you create another plugin that enables you to look at it in a different way. So this architecture enables us to have a number of different plugins that we can create on the fly. Now, my friend, Professor Schmidt over there, is going to actually show you how this all works. And we've got a live demo that actually takes you through it. Thank you, Cleve. Um, we had prepared this little demo uh, to show how we receive the events, how we, how we get additional data, in this case, um, calling, calling the AEM other APIs again to fetch some more information about the asset, and then how we integrated several channels in order to publish that event. And we heard a, little, uh, a lot about experiences before, and while the experiences of our clients' customers is uh, very important for us, um, this is a little bit about the experience of our customers and how, they, how we can actually optimize their business processes, especially uh, then working with the, uh, with the Adobe platform, um, creating more efficient business processes. So I have here um, uh, my, <coughs> my demo assets open in the AM sandbox we set up for this. And then I've got a chat room here, which is literally a collaboration room. Think of it as uh, our internal um, chat room where the different offices in the world communicate with each other. So I want to keep up to uh, uh, speed with what's happening um, on, on the creative side. Uh, the second chat room here is to, is to demonstrate 
a room where we have uh, joint business processes with clients. So this is where we communicate with our clients, where creative handover through approval and deployment uh, forth and back takes place. And thirdly, uh, an acti RSS activity feed. Uh, this is to demonstrate how you would integrate that into collaboration platforms, both on the, um, on the agency side only, but also collaboration platforms that the client might use, uh, project management, uh, agile uh, management platforms, um, um, et cetera, PP for instance, SharePoint. So let me, let me, actually, let me actually show how, how these events come through. So first of all, we've got three types of events that are being tracked at the moment. So creating of new assets. Um, and I thought it was fitting, creating a little beep event here. Let me upload this creative. Um, you can see it shows up in the, in the asset management. And now our service in the back end is uh, fetching more information about that. And then it should uh, come through on the... Uh, on, on the chats uh, momentarily. So what we're doing here is that there is a use case where we're just creating stuff. As you can see here, the events are popping up on the right-hand side to show you that that event is happening. So this is just the creation mode. So now um, everyone in the chat uh, will see these updates. And the event, the event payload itself does not have a lot of information. It shows us what the event is and what the asset is. So we actually go and then fetch the full externalized URL so that here in the chat we can get a little preview of, of that asset that has just been created. And the ISS feed, you can see, it fades, it fades in there as well. So just let me do that again. Um, there's another picture here. Uh, got the conference room uploaded. And within a few moments, the event will come through. Now, in the meantime, I got actually contacted. You can see the uh, pop-ups coming through here. Again, we've got a little preview here. And in our activity feed, it comes up as well. You can see, by the way, here in the activity feed, some more metadata is shown, like the event creation, who actually created, created the asset or modified it. And you can also have some category or region data. So within your collaboration platform, you could actually put it uh, and sort it into different feeds. Uh, or different areas, depending on which teams need to work with these, uh, with these updates. And just so, very, very quickly on that, if you can go back to that tab, the activity feed, the reason why that's so important is because I was talking to a, a particular customer, and they wanted to know what was going on around the globe, around the assets. And what you could see there is you could have that feed tailored, and so you could only see the information that you wanted, but you could actually see every day, wake up, and then see what assets have been created. That stopped them from recreating, I won't even put the number on it, the number of videos and assets that were being duplicated across the market, because they now had visibility globally around asset creation. For them, it's a massive win. Exactly, and on, and on, on our second business case, um, once a strategy and a campaign is approved, lots of our clients struggled with the actual time to market of those campaigns. So having collaboration platforms that automatically update makes this handover process much faster, makes the time to market for the campaign faster. So now I've heard I need to edit this helmet because it doesn't look nice that way. It was actually supposed to be that way because it matches the catalog. So let me save that. So I've changed that asset, and then everyone will get a notification about the change of asset, including a little preview of that, okay. And the update, updated feed here as well. Um, the last thing on that, just to go on, is the updates is the other important thing. So as you're creating assets, that's one thing. But when people change assets, you want to know what they've changed, and you also want to make sure that change was approved. And so what you could build here in terms of the integrated use cases that I dis discussed before, you could actually get an update, and that update would then go to an approval process, and you could potentially prevent that or send it through. So this is around actually building in now with events an actual workflow that actually tells you what you can and can't do. And that all can be done by the eventing process. No manual intervention, totally automatic. And really, really what Adobe gives us here is the flexibility for our diverse, I mean, you saw the, all the agencies, for the diverse use cases that our agency and our clients have to really adapt it using different plugins and integration for the event service. So last but not least, I want to uh, delete a few assets just to show you how it operates when there is a couple of activities um, in one go. So let's watch this activity feed and see, hopefully, that uh, you can see the events coming through there as well. And now one after the other, it should update the uh, uh, three assets that I deleted here. And that pretty much is it. But the reason why this is important to us as a WPP agency is that agencies and the way in which we work with our brand marketing teams is so important. And the ability for them to have more control over their assets and their end-to-end -end production is critical. So we see the Adobe I.O. and the eventing 
part of it as, as a critical part of what we want to do forward with the Adobe platform. And we're quite excited to work with John and team to make that a reality. Thank you. Thank you very much.